What's up, guys? So, today's video is going to be about my tongue piercing and my snake eyes piercing. But first, I want to say something about my hair. It's finally in the gold color that I wanted, and which means that I want a dark. I want dark roots, which I had. They are really dark now, but they will um, be more gray soon. So I have dark roots, and then they go. It goes into gray. And I also have some darker gray highlights over there, but you can't really see them because I'm inside. They show better on real outside world. <laughs> yep. So, this is my hair. We cut five centimeters off, so my hair was, well, it's curly now, but yesterday it was straight. It was about here, and before it was like here. So we cut 5 centimeters because I had dead ends and I wanted to get rid of them because now my hair grows a lot better. So yeah, and this is the back. I have the shortcut there. So here it is. And now can you see it? Um, I have some lines there because my sister ha had to do some stuff with the shading machine so yeah I got some lines there and yeah I love my hair it's awesome but without further ado let's get into the video so let's start with my tongue piercing my regular tongue piercing um, I've had this piercing actually twice and because I had a surgery on my knee a few years ago and for that surgery I had to take all my piercings out because they weren't plastic jewelry if I would have known that I would have gotten plastic jewelry into them but luckily I only had few piercings at that time so it wasn't that big of a deal so I took it out and it closed up and I got it pierced again. That's it. And um, this is what my tongue looks like. This is the one that I'm talking about. And the first time I got it done, my friend pierced it for me. Yes, my friend. And it hurt like one out of ten ish, I would say. And the second time I got it done, I got it done at a piercing place and that hurt like 2 out of 10 but only because it went through scar tissue so that's why it hurt more. But overall I think that my tongue piercing didn't hurt that badly. Um, <clears throat> when it comes to healing your tongue piercing, you have to have the mouthwash and I actually still have some from my snake eyes piercing so I will show it to you guys so this is the bottle that I had my mouthwash in um this was just a regular water bottle and this is mouthwash it used to be a lot more pinkier but because the piercing is so new you have to dilute your alcohol free mouthwash by the way alcohol free so i would like this much of the mouthwash and the rest filled up with water so and every time you use this you use it after you eat after you brush your teeth after you smoke after you drink alcohol after you put anything in your mouth you have to mouthwash your your mouth so that your piercing doesn't get infected but that's everything about my mouthwash <laughs> yeah so <clears throat> the worst thing about getting tongue pierced it it is not the piercing itself it's the healing 
because the next day after you've gotten your tongue pierced, your tongue is so freaking swollen that you can't even speak, and it's so painful, and you can't eat. You can you can only suck on fucking ice, guys. Like seriously, I'm not kidding. I sucked for ice for three days with my regular tongue piercing, and yeah. That's a long time, but it helps with the tongue. You can also um eat, like I don't know what it's called. It's like ice cream, but it's not like cream ice cream. It's the other ice cream type, which I don't remember what it's called. But yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You can suck on those. And by the way, no oral sex when you get your tongue or any part of your mouth pierced. That's important. And yeah, I think that that's all with my tongue piercing. Currently, I have a 10 millimeter bar in, and yes, it is really short, you guys. And I have been thinking about changing changing this into like into 12 millimeters because it's going it's sucking on my tongue i will show you it's inside there so i have been thinking about changing my tongue piercing into a larger one yeah and actually i will maybe do it now so you can see how i change my tongue piercing so guys, this is the bar that I'm going to put in and it's just a 12mm bar and it's 1.6mm diameter and now let's just do this I haven't changed my tongue piercing with this long ass nail so bear with me guys <laughs> Usually I don't have any problems changing my piercings, but I now I have, so I think I'm going to be using my scissors now. Don't, don't try this at home, guys. So this is the bar that I had in. Um, it's really, really short. It's only 10 millimeters long. Oh God, where did it go? Here. Like, can we just compare these two? Ta-da! It's really short. <laughs>
it's tight enough. That was me changing my tongue piercing. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, and I don't have clamps, so I usually use my scissors when I have to like clamp something. But if you do this, you have to be super careful, you guys. Now, let's get into my snake eyes piercing, which is my newest tongue piercing that I have. It's in the tip of my tongue. And I know that many people say that snake eyes piercing is not a good piercing piercing and, and only shops that are good are the ones that don't do snake eyes piercings and I disagree if you have the right jewelry and right size balls in your tongue then it doesn't really click your teeth or crack them I haven't had any problems with my tongue with my snake eyes piercing and I've had this in for like a couple of months like but let's get into the business so snake eyes piercing i got this done a few months ago and if you had watched that video you know that my piercer put in freaking long bar with freaking big balls right i don't do i have it even no, I don't have my original snake eyes bar anymore, but currently I have, what size is this? I think this is 16 millimeters, I think, and I have three, three millimeter balls in there, and it does not click my teeth, um, you can barely hear it when I talk, even when I talk in Finnish, um, you can barely hear it, which is weird. And even my piercer was shocked about that. This is the jewelry that I had in before this that I have now. This is an 18 millimeter tongue bar and it's bended. You, I got this from my piercer. She pen bended a regular tongue piercing bar and put this in for me. I haven't ever changed my snake eyes piercing ever and the pain with this piercing um I could say that it definitely hurt like it wasn't like unbearable pain but it was quite painful and I think my snake eyes hurt like 4 out of 10 yeah, four-ish out of ten, and I know that that sounds really low, but usually when I talk about piercings, my pain level is a lot more lower than that is. So I have a really high pain tolerance, by the way. So, so healing with snake eyes was was pretty much the same that. It was with the tongue piercing, except I had a huge lisp when my snake eyes was healing because it's in the tip of your tongue and it is a lot more painful when it comes to healing or I think that it is a lot more painful. I have done so many videos on my snake eyes piercing I have made an update videos for a whole week after I got this tongue piercing. So you can go check those out and there is actually like I think that there is so much information in those and you can actually see what I sound like and when the talking starts to get easier and yeah, you can see those kind of stuff in the videos. So I suggest that you go check those out. And this was all for this video. I want to add here in the end that I'm going to be having my tattoo next week. So stay tuned guys. I am going to be making a vlog about it. Yeah. See you next time. Bye, guys.